Hey guys, Hasib here and in this video, I will discuss how to accept payments for Go High Level calendar appointment bookings. So I can give you an example, the Go High Level consultation uh, sessions that I do. For that, I accept payments and I use the Go High Level calendar to accept payments when someone's booking a date and time with me. So this simple thing can be uh, used for, you know, chiropractors, dentists, any kind of any kind of uh, business where there's appointment booking and they accept payments or prepayments for those appointments that come through. So for that, you need to go to the business account or the sub account. You need to go to settings. And first thing you need to do is you need to go to integrations. I'm showing you uh, my profile as an example. So this is my high level sub account. So what I need to do is I need to go to I need to go to integrations and I need to go to Stripe and make sure Stripe's connected. If Stripe's not connected or any of the payment methods is not connected, you're not going to be able to take payments for those, right? So you need to connect Stripe. Just hit connect uh, if it's not connected yet. Uh, and then it's going to ask you to log in and then follow the steps. It's just a matter of one or two clicks. Then Stripe's going to be connected real easy and simple. So once that's done, you need to go to calendars and I'll give you an example. This is the calendar that I take appointments through, right? So if I go to the details section or any kind of calendar you have, so I'm using a round robin in this case. So if you have a different kind of calendar, you will find a place where it says forms and, and payment. And after checking all the settings, you need to come over here that says accept payment. So if I go to another calendar that does not have this on, so I can show you as an example. So this is a book of call calendar. If I go forms and payments, Accept payments is off. So if I turn that on, it's going to ask me what is the amount. So I'll say $100 and I'll say dentist and you need to make it live. Otherwise, it's not going to take the real card details here. So this is how you take payments for uh, appointment booking. So if I show you the preview of my calendar, this is my calendar. And if, if I share the link, OK, cool. And if I select the date and time, now it's going to ask me to put the car details, right? That because I've configured it in such a way that it asks for payment. And this is the description. This is the payment uh, amount that it charges when someone books an appointment date and time with me. So it's really simple. Just connect your Stripe and then configure in your calendar settings what you need to do, uh, how much payment you need to do and what's the payment purpose, right? That's how it's done. Real simple. And I will see you in the next one.